So hi and welcome to today's video. Um, so today I'm going to be doing sort of a garage therapy, wheel cleaning, maintenance routine and um, showing you these three products in action. So full disclaimer, the tyre serum and the decon shampoo I purchased myself but the wheel shampoo um, was kindly sent over by garage therapy. But again, you know, I'll just be sort of showing these products and um, demoing them and showing you sort of the complete process so everyone can kind of make their own conclusions as well um, with the clips that I'm showing you. So starting off with cleaning the tyres. So this was the first time I'd used Decon shampoo to clean the tyres and I just used it in a 1 in 10 ratio as this is kind of what Garage Therapy recommend before applying the tyre serum. So I can honestly say I was really really impressed with this as a tyre cleaner. Not something I've tried before again you know but something that I'll definitely be trying again and um, to give them a really really thorough clean because the sort of colour the foam was turning and the amount of passes it took to get them clean just showed me that the tyres weren't nearly as clean as I thought they were and I think when you clean them with something that's just not as powerful um, the foam can turn white and you think it's all fine but something like this just gives them a really really deep clean and again at a 1 in 10 ratio it's pretty economical and um, of course going to find cheaper products out there to clean your tyres um, something I've used in the past is Surfex HD still you know really like that but for the purposes of this I wanted to sort of do a full kind of garage therapy sort of review and show you show you all of the products and how they would work on the wheels if you want to try them and um, so this actually took five passes on the back wheel and four on the front to get them clean so next I'm moving on to the wheel shampoo um, so I use this in a couple of different ways I use this in an IK foamer so 10 mil in 100 mil in 500 mil sorry of water and then also in a wash bucket, um, so just a little bit of water in a wash bucket, not too precise about it, just enough to kind of make sure the tools could be sort of fully submerged, um, and about 5 mil in that, so barely anything really. So first thing I did was foamed up the wheels using this IK foamer, and then just proceeded to clean the wheels using a sort of wheel release style brush, um, I've got a link in the description to that one if you want to check that out. Um, these microfiber wash mitts and also just a hog hair brush as well. So stop talking more about the wheel shampoo now. Um, I honestly thought when I sort of saw about wheel shampoos I was thinking are they really necessary? Um, do you need one? Is it just a bit of a gimmick? And I can honestly say that there's just not that at all. Um, it's one of those products, it's like another one like Decon shampoo was the same. Um, one of those products where you think I don't really know what I did before that now particularly in winter when you know no matter how often you clean them they get dirty the next day um, and I think the wheels are getting a battering by brake dust and um, all the mud at the moment as well and having something that's specifically designed to clean wheels that has that added lubrication but also that added kick I think it's really important and it's you know one of those might not be important if you don't care about your wheels as much but you know, I, I like the alloys on my car, um, I might get some diamond cut in the future, I'm not sure, but um, I do like them and I want to keep the finish nice and keep them looking shiny. It's important as well if you're dealing with sort of black polished rims as well, then you know, using something like this is just going to be even more important really, and more noticeable. Um, so I think sort of having used this, my favourite way of using it is with this IK foamer. I thought it would be again a bit of a gimmick but it's just not at all, it makes the whole process easier, more enjoyable to be honest um, and I just think it does a good job and it's also very economical with the product as well, you don't end up using a lot so you can use 15mm but there's enough in the IK foamer to probably get you the next couple of wheels as well um, next time you wash the car so it does a good job there too. So once I dried everything down and washed the rest of the car um, I went ahead and applied the tyre serum and um, so this is quite a loose liquid it sort of it spreads very evenly across the tyres it spreads quite quite easily and um, you have to work reasonably fast and um, because it can soak into the foam applicator if you are using one might try it with a microfiber next time and um, you're not really wasting much product at all but it's just something that I did notice and um, but it spreads very nicely the only time I say it wouldn't is if the tyres are still slightly wet and um, it tends to struggle a little bit more to spread quite evenly and um, so the only criticism I have really in terms of the application of this is that I would prefer it if it was a flip cap design um, or even a pump I think it would make things slightly easier as when I sort of put the bottle down on these stones I'm a little bit worried about it tipping over and I'm 
because sort of my, when my hands are a little bit messy, I have to put the lid back on. Very, very minor detail, 90% me being lazy, but it's just something that I sort of thought of as I was using it. Um, so it's a wall space product and it's not really tyre dressing, it's a tyre conditioner, so what does that mean? Um, well, the idea is that it sort of has some kind of restorative effects and um, sort of replenishes the rubber, but also helps to protect it more so than a uh, dressing would. Um, and it's got that kind of added benefit to it. Um, so that's why you probably choose this over a sort of traditional dressing that's more about visual appearance. So what I did here was apply two layers. Um, so this was sort of what was recommended when the first time you use it. Um, so two layers and I left it about a couple of hours apart. Um, so it says to dry after 15 minutes, which I can say is, is the truth. Um, they did feel dry and safe to dry without worrying about sling. But I left it a couple of hours just to give it the best chance. And also it said um, you get fully weather resistant properties after 24 hours. Um, so it's sort of a satin finish, it's quite natural. Um, does leave a nice level of shine, but nothing too distracting, um, which isn't what I like. It's not super glossy and sort of a little bit distracting to look at. Um, I think that the finish wise, spot on for me, um, did a really good job. So what I actually did here was the second part of the testing and that was driving the car for 100 miles um, in a week in probably the worst conditions I've ever driven in. Um, torrential rain, flooding, sort of the sort of puddles where you, you think I'm not going to make it through this. Um, but horrendous basically. So the tyres got an absolute battering and I wasn't expecting them to be clean at this point you know it's like a pile of wax and when the wax gets dirty saying that it doesn't work that's not how tyre products work and um, you have to rinse them down and you have to maintain them or reapply them so this is what I was kind of evaluating in these next steps so you can see on the front tyre and um, on both front tyres actually and um, there was a lot of water behaviour still there um, and it did a good job at repelling the water that I was spraying on Um, on the back tyres, not so much, um, there wasn't really much water repellency after this. Um, being a rear wheel drive car, the rear wheels do get a lot more of a battering. Um, so typically on most other cars it probably be the other way around, um, but on this one, yeah, it, it, it did struggle on the back. Um, so I wanted to then kind of wash them and see what it'd be like after a bit of a scrub down. So I tried it on the back wheels at the start just to see whether I could get any of this water behaviour back. Um, so I cleaned the wheels as normal using the IK foamer and then popped a bit more onto the tyres as well and then gave them a scrub down with this brush um, just to see at this point whether I could get some of that water repellency back. Um, so this is the wheel shampoo again, it's, it's more gentle than sort of attacking it with a sort of quite strong citrus pre-wash or again the decon is just probably going to remove it entirely. Um, so what I did here was just try and give it sort of the most gentle approach first um, as sort of rinsing it down wasn't really enough at this stage. Um, so just giving it a scrub down, seeing where I was at here. And then once I rinsed this off, you can see that unfortunately on the rear wheels, the water behavior didn't come back at this stage. Um, so what I actually did was go ahead and use a citrus pre-wash. So it was actually the Pyramid Car Care one, which I do really like using on tires as well. Um, just to see what it was like after a bit more of a hit because it's clear that the tyres weren't clean at this point and I didn't really want to sort of slap in product over the top of dirty tyres, particularly when I've got time to sort of clean them. And you can see here um, that the foam was turning brown and um, so you know it, it wasn't really clean at this point. So once I'd rinse this down after a couple of passes you can again see even when the foam was white sort of on that second pass that really the water repellency wasn't coming back so essentially what it done is it stripped it down at this point and stripped the product off as well and um, just to get the tyres clean. So then I went ahead and did the front wheels and um, so still having that kind of water repellency there what I wanted to see was could I get some of that finish back by just giving them a light scrub down so again just went in with this garage therapy one wheel shampoo I'm just giving it a scrub on the tyres and seeing what we could get back. Seeing whether the water behaviour improved any more than it already did um, and seeing whether the finish actually got better too. Um, so when I rinsed it down, there wasn't too much of a change in water behaviour. 
it was clear that the wheel shampoo hadn't stripped that product away, um, which was encouraging. It's good as a maintenance product, um, you could use that. But then I would say that the tyres probably weren't as clean as I probably would have liked them at this point, and I prefer just to give them a real scrub down with a citrus pre-wash. So you can sort of see here what it looked like on initial application and what it looked like post sort of wash with each kind of technique. So I think you can tell really on the kind of on the first pictures where it was on the front wheel and um, that post wheel shampoo there was still a little bit of a sheen there still a little bit of that finish and um, but particularly in comparison to the original photo a lot of that finish had gone and um, you can see on the second photos and um, the citrus pre-wash had removed the product entirely at this point just to leave the sort of clean tyre and um, so I'd say if I'm totally honest in both circumstances I would want to reapply the product I don't think that it sort of is a product in these kind of conditions that I was testing it in and again it was probably the worst conditions to test it in that it was something that I wouldn't have to reapply and um, I think that it does need topping up in summer it'd be very interesting to see whether this actually lasted and you could just give it a light scrub down or a light spray sort of towel dry it off and how it would look and um, but at this kind of time of year testing it in probably the worst conditions possible so it was I think it did better than other sort of tire dressings I've tried and those added benefits of it being a conditioner rather than a dressing I think are beneficial I think as well the finish that it left behind is just stunning and um, it's really spot on for me and I think it looked good on all tires what I'm interested to try next is actually testing this on tires that aren't in as good a condition as mine I've got a um, family's car that I know the tyres are absolutely horrendous so I'll be very interested to try that and sort of see how I get on. Um, but if you want to kind of see some more updates on this then I will be posting these on my Instagram um, so I'll leave a link for that below. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful. If you have, it um, be fantastic if you give this video a like. Comment down below if you tried this product, um, if you tried any of the products let me know how you got on with them too. Um, but thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.